our model today is Lane, and we're going to be doing some formal looks on her. We started prepping her by putting some primer on her face. We're going to do some airbrushing. All right, I have prepped her eyes with a little bit of neutral shadow and a little bit of a highlighter on top. I'm going to go ahead and embellish her eyes a little bit more. We'll go with some sparkles. Close, please. We've added a neutral brown to the mid eye and to the crease. And I've added this nice light one to her brow bone. And now I'm adding a deeper bronze to the corner just to get some depth here. I'm gonna go with a little bit of a lighter gold, the inner, inner corner here. I'm just blending that out into the deeper bronze that's in the corner. So I'm just using my highlighter a little bit at the top here at the brow bone just to blend a bit more and just smudging my line back and forth just softly now we are going to add some depth to her brows and starting at the arch coming out to the outer corner we're going to airbrush lane's face today i don't think she's ever had her brush done before so this is going to be exciting all right love i want you to close your eyes this is going to feel like a little bit of a cool mist like I said, we already have primer on her skin. So we're just gonna go ahead lightly, back and forth strokes. Airbrush Makeup gives a very flawless look. It evens out any imperfections that the skin might have while being very, very light and airy. Light strokes, back and forth. I'm just gonna pat the airbrush, it's a little bit wet just to set it a bit. Airbrush gives a nice even complexion while not being very heavy on the face. All right, so now I'm gonna continue her eyes a little bit with a brown liner. Close for me, dear. Just starting in the center and light strokes out. Not trying to add a wing or anything, just a little depth for the lash line. We are going to add some false lashes on Lane today for a little bit more of a dramatic look. We're going for more of a formal look on Lane today. Now look up and away for me. Excellent. All right, so we're going to come in here with some blush. So now I'm going to continue her up. highlighter on you kind of want to do it as like a three on the face. I concentrate mostly here up at the top of the cheekbone just to capture the light. Just doing a little bit more blending. All right so now we are going to apply lashes. All right while we let those dry I'm going to come back for a little bit more definition in your brows. Start in the corner, I like to start on the outer edge with my lip brush. I'm Jen and we're going to be doing a updo on Miss Lane here. I'm going to start, we've already pre-prepped her by curling. I used about an inch and a half iron. I'm just going to brush out the hair softly with my fingers. I'm going to separate, I'm going to put a braid up in here. I'm gonna pull out where I want that to go. Grab it from the center and I'm just gonna lift up. I'm gonna take a hairpin and just kinda of weave it in there. Just feel where it wants to go. Just kinda of feeling where her hair wants to go so it's not gonna to be too tight or uncomfortable. I'm using a combination of bobby pins and hairpins. The difference between the two is hairpins are actually open as bobby pins are closed. I'm gonna go underneath. And I'm gonna gently pull that out. Just tucking in little ends. And then all I'm gonna do 
just stick a couple more pins in there for security purposes. 